Today we're going to create this. As always, create a new Fusion composition and go to Fusion. Now add a text node, then go to Inspector window and type your desired text. I will type noobs. Once done, click on the text node and add image plane 3D to make it 3D. Now add merge 3D and render 3D. Take the output of render 3D and connect it with media out. As you can see, our text is too small. So what we're gonna do now is add camera node and connect it with merge 3D. Then go to transform and adjust the Z offset until we view the text like this. All right, so I want my tunnel animation to go through the second O letter. So we are gonna adjust it a little, but first click on the render 3D and add grid node. Go to inspector window and change its row cells to six and column to eight. Now we will get a proper line like this. Click on the image plane 3D and adjust the X offset accordingly. I want this O letter to be in the middle of that line, just like this. Once you are done, delete the grid node, then click on the text node to change its color. I will choose sky blue for this one. Now click on the image plane 3D and add another merge 3D, press F2 and rename it as parent. All right, now copy the text node with image plane 3D and paste it here. Connect its output to the parent node. And for this one, I will choose this pinkish color. Now drag the parent node to one of the viewer to view it in 3D space. All right, so click on the image plane 3D of pink text and move it backward on Z axis. I will keep one grid's gap, but you can make it half if you want to. Once done, add duplicate 3D node. To the first image plane 3D, go to inspector window and change the last number to your liking. I did six because I want six copies. Now click on the duplicate 3D node and move it backwards till the next grid after pink text. Now repeat the same step for the pink text. Once done, you'll get something like this. Okay, now let's proceed with the camera animation. But before that, let's animate the text. Go to frame zero and add a keyframe for tracking. Then go to frame 60 or any frame you prefer and change the tracking value to 1.5. Do the same for the other text. This will make our text move as the camera goes through the O letter adding a bit more interest to the scene. All right, now click on the camera and add a transform 3D node. Go to frame zero and add keyframes for Z translation and Z rotation. Now go to frame 60 and change the Z offset until the camera moves to the last text. As for the rotation, change it accordingly. I will do minus 256, but you can also do minus 360. Once done, we will get something like this. Since you'll be using this in your AMVs, I'd recommend starting the animation after frame 20 or something. You can also make it longer depending on how you want to use it. All right, now click on the render 3D node and add lens distort. Go to the inspector window Click on Lens Distortion Model and change the distortion to 0.25 or something. This will make it a little bit more interesting. Okay, now we will add particles. But before that, select all these nodes until the parent node and press Ctrl plus G to make a group. Now click on the group and add a Merge 3D node, name it as Parent 2. Next add a P Emitter node. Click on it and add P Render node. Connect the output of P Render to Parent 2. So we want particles to appear on the whole space between the first and last text. But currently, it's too small. What we're going to do is go to the region tab of the P emitter and change the size to 5. Then adjust it accordingly so it covers all the area. Once done, go to the style tab and change the style to bitmap. Then we will create a circle shape and connect it to the input of the P emitter. You can create any shape with this method. Now add a background node and change its color to sky blue or anything you like. Then add a circle mask and make it a little smaller like this. Also, increase the soft edges to around 0.15 or something. Now, if we connect the output of the background node to the P emitter, we will get particles like this. Right now, these particles look boring and they're all the same size. Let's change this. On the style tab, decrease the size to 0.02 or something, then increase the size variance a little. Also, increase size to velocity a bit. This will make particles different from each other. But we need more particles, so go to the Controls tab and change the number to 100. Also, increase number variance a little to make it random. As for the lifespan, I'll change it to 70 since my animation is only 60 frames long, so it's good enough for me. Increase variance for this as well. You can also change the random seed. Once done, click on the P emitter and add a P merge node. Now copy all these nodes till the P emitter and paste them here. Connect it to the P merge and change the background color for this one to pink. So we will get the pink particles as well. Now for this one, I will change the random seed so these particles look different from the blue particles. You can also change size and all. Once done, you will get something like this. So here I've just added another particle node. This is just a simple white particle. I just changed the style to point and increased the size a little. All right, let's give it some finishing touches. Click on the background node and add a glow node. 
You can use any glow. I will use soft glow. Change the gain and glow size accordingly. Then copy and paste it to the other background node. Once done, select all these nodes till the P render and make a group. Okay, now let's add glow to the text as well. Double click on the group to open it. Click on the text node and add glow, adjust accordingly, and then apply it to the other text. Also, apply motion blur. You can click on the render 3D, then on the settings tab, check the motion blur, and change the quality to 10. Once you do all the little adjustments, you will get something like this. I hope this was helpful. If it was, then check out other tutorials as well. See ya.